Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video in Grand Arena 5v5. This is the last round of the last week of 5v5 before it goes on to 3v3. Uh, we are 50 points below the threshold to get into Kyber 1. So hopefully, even if we do win this, we probably won't get into Kyber 1, but we'll just be just below Kyber 1 that we'll get a good bracket hopefully for the first round of 3v3 to then obviously push ourselves up into Kyber 1 again. So today's opponent is Soup Triple Eight, and they are from the guild Sigma Alliance SBS. As you can see from the previews, not they haven't invested too much into data crons. Um, so we shall see how obviously how we get on with their board, because we don't have any data crons to face in either of the front walls. So as you can see, they have attacked already. Uh, they've dropped quite a few battles. Trying to clear through, dropped a battle on my gas. That's got the and um, stun cron, the Galactic Republic, because I can't afford to set JMK on defense. Um, and then Dash obviously got two shot as well. And I believe they two shot my Maul in the north. Oh, it was crew actually. Yeah, crew first order, not a great team, but obviously got me a hole, which is nice. And then they really struggled to break through my Darth Revan. Six battles on that, no one's dead. Uh, Days Grind as well, that's the reducing cooldowns for debuffs, which is normally primarily for uh, Darth Raven and Bastler, because they can both inflict a lot of debuffs. And then obviously two shots against the Mon Mothma. So we haven't really, as long as we get the full clear here, I'm hoping I don't get baited into a trap again. Um, but they've dropped enough battles that hopefully, even if we do need to drop some battles and get the full clear, we should still win anyway. But as you can see from the board, we do have a Ray all at the top, obviously JTR and Galactic Legend Ray. Uh, so, but we'll be coming to that later on, obviously once we've cleared the south. But in the south wall, you can see that we have a Lord Vader and a Bosk in the preview, at, as well as a Mon Mothma and a Dash team, both very low gears. Uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult there. And no Datacron on the LV, but there is one on the Bosk, which I'll just show you quickly. Uh, when they get buffs, they uh, get stacking offense uh, 5%, and the stats on the side aren't too crazy. Uh, we're just going to attack CLS against this, as you would probably expect normally. And then the LV, we are going to use JMK, because I have looked at their history and they don't seem to set JMK on the back wall, and that would be the only reason we'd hold him. Obviously, if he is on the back wall, then <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> or we might be able to JML it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see if it, it actually is there. But then we are going to use my Iden squad against the Mothra. That's just a gear 10 Iden um, with a couple of relic characters and uh, some other gear 10 11 Imperial troopers. And then Dash, we're just going to triumvirate. Um, just the triumvirate by themselves. That is see really low gear. We should be fine there um, just to take the three in. But anyway, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so no maul in this LV squad. So that makes it a bit easier. Okay, and there's only one tank as well, so we can just get rid of Royal Guard straight away with Cat. Which we're going to do. Alright, we'll cleanse up all those debuffs. I could have brought my stacking offense data gone in here, but I just didn't think it was uh, needed. Let's go after Piet here. Pick it onto Darth Vader. No, not enough, unfortunately. <coughs> right, there's Master turn over to Jedi Master Kenobi. Kill Darth Vader. Very good. Nice ability block there. Right, let's pass GM over to Jedi Master Kenobi. We just got to try and kill Piet. There we go. He's gone. Maybe we can one shot Tarkin. Nope, not enough. Nowhere near enough. Right, let's do mass assist here. Basic Lord Vader, go to ultimate. Nice ability block again. Oh, I didn't get it then. Uh, let's get a healing immunity on him. It's fine. Ability block, very nice. Armor shred. 
for all those debuffs. Blow that to Cat. So we can get another stack of armor shred on him. Another one. Now do a kick. Might kill him. Nope. Alright, let's pass the turn over to. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> nice full banners to start off with. Okay, CLS versus Bosk. So we're going to go straight off to Zam. Let's do this on to Django. Reduce his turn meter a little bit. Do a slam. Uh, let's pop an AoE here, why not? Very nice. Alright, let's kill off Zam. Because Django's about to take his turn. I won't rocketing anyone. No, reduce his turn meter, please. Thank you. We're going to get contract now, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> well, okay then. Right, let's go after Bosk. Kill him, please. Blind everyone. I can't. Is he blinded? No, he's not. He's gonna rocket my hand, watch this. Oh, he's burning. I switch forms again. Now kill Boba. That was a lucky dodge. I do basic on Dengar. Oh, we're gonna get stuck behind his thing now, aren't we? Ah, uh, we should have gone off for Django at the beginning. Switch forms. Nope. Don't do anything. Blind. again. Please take a turn. Oh, he took a turn. Brilliant. We got lucky there. That was very lucky. Oh, yeah. I should have killed Django off, probably. Um, instead of Zam. Because Zam would have died to another AoE. Uh, obviously, they wouldn't pop contract. Or probably stun Bosk, maybe. I'll have to rewatch that and see what I needed to do. But that was probably a bit of a misplay when we got to after the Chupio initial AoE, we should have probably killed off uh, Django or stunned Bosk or something like that. That would have stopped them getting their contract off, which is obviously what almost ruined it for us. Was he very lucky? Okay, so like I said, this is a very low gear Iden uh, with the Omicron. So we are going to stun Kara first because her AoE can stun our whole team, which we don't want. Let's get some buffs on the board. Now we will do our uh, revive ability thing. Let's increase everyone's cooldowns if we can. Do an AoE. Another AoE. Get keep torn up and crit damage immunity. Should do a basic here. And then basic scout to finish for a full max banners. Okay, now Triumvirate versus Dash. Let's increase their cooldowns where we can. Right, put Isolation onto L3. Inflict some pain. Let's throw this at Vandor. Let's kill off Dash, I guess. Probably smack him here. Nope, not enough damage. Kill him, good. Get days on Young Han and kill him. 
or not. That should kill him, which it does. Kill Kira now. Help by hatred. Maybe. Let's get rid of L3. And then we'll throw this at Kira for. <laughs> I was about to say to finish, but not. For 64 banners, that's pretty good. Obviously, we lost all our protection banners there. Um, that is one thing Treyas struggles with, but that's still a good score. Okay, so as you can see, we're on to the back wall now. There is a Jedi Master Luke and a Commander Luke in the back, uh, as I was expecting. I did actually check this my opponent's history before, and they did like to set JML in the back. Uh, this is that team as well. So obviously, we're going to be using C with Watt versus JML. And I'll be using JML versus uh, Commander Luke. And then I'm going to try Wampa versus GG. And then we'll quickly go over the north. Uh, probably going to start in the south, actually. Uh, we'll start with the GLs on both zones and then we'll work through the other teams. Uh, it mi mix and match to, depending on which is the toughest, because we'll start from toughest to easiest. And then for the north zone, we have a Ray to beat with a, date, a level 3 Datacron. This is uh, the recover 10% health protection, have a bit of extra protection as well, and uh, not crazy good for Ray. And this Ray is completely health modded, about 230k with about 9k of physical offense. So we are actually going to be using Emperor Palpatine Starkiller versus this team, and hoping that we don't get stuck um, behind Nest. Uh, we should be okay there, I hope. And then the plan was to use Troopers versus the Finn team, SLKR versus the JTR team with Rose Omicron. Um, we're not going to take Guess okay on his own just because of what happened last time. Uh, so, we are going to be taking in some friends with him to hopefully uh, get through this. And then the Quiet Gone, we're going to be using Bad Batch. So, that is the plan, and let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so Starkiller versus Ray. We have to try and stun Zawa here. Nice stun. Throw the staggers out. A basic ray. Now uh, we'll try to stun everyone actually. Very nice. Now basic again. Now I think she's got crit damage immunity. Yes, she does. So we're going to dispel that with uh, Stark at a second special. So we can now be crit. So I'm actually going to ability block her with old Ben. A basic. Some defense penetration up. Basic again. Now she's in damage immunity. Right, let's just do a basic on to. Let's go into Holdo. Some shock on her. She doesn't have shock. I think either the others have shock. Let's put shock on the resistance trooper. Bye bye. Um. EP, we should be able to bring him him back, I think. I'll right, we'll get torn up on old Ben. Now we'll throw staggers out. Oh, we can't bring him back. Maybe I did a misplay there. I should, I, if I took a turn with old Ben, I should have uh, done the uh, ah the torn. If I. Probably should have done that so the whirlwind would have gone on to um old ben and then i should have done a special with star killer to get the damage immunity on old ben so that's probably a bit of a misplay from my point of view i'm actually not going to do a special here just because i'm able to get ultimate now do i call it in that is the question no <laughs> Is the answer. Well, it might not be the answer, but we're going to go with that anyway. <laughs> it's done. Um, yeah, put some more staggers out there again. Yeah, that was a good call to keep hold of it. Now we can heal everyone up. He's got a kill off Ray. Oh, that would have been annoying as well with the. Come on, take a turn, Star Killer. Okay, 
Get out, please. There we go. Right. Yeah, that would have probably would have been a problem of actually nest basicing um, Obi Wan to get rid of the damage immunity. All right, let's just kill off nest here. We killed off quite a few there actually. Throw that out. Kill Holdo. The special, why not? Let's heal up. And just got to kill Zalbar for. Is that 61? Six, no, 58. Wow, okay. Oh, we lost um, Palpatine, did we, of course? Yeah. Makes sense. Wasn't my best Star Killer fight versus Ray. Okay, C and Watt versus JML. So tank tech over to uh, C. And we link up. I have to link up Jedi Master Luke and then we'll link up Jedi Knight Luke. Let's heal up a little bit. Keep Watt a bit alive a bit longer. Just take some of the heat off. There you go, that's two less hits on C. <laughs> Just basic here, I guess. Come on, let me take a turn. Right. Pop ultimate. And then zap. I'm going to relink it. Jedi Master Luke. And then link up Joe Lee. Just kill Joe Lee if we can. Link in a minute. I'll link up Jenna Master Luke and the Hermit, of course, and then we'll be able to pop the big hit. I don't know if you kill both of them. Bye bye. Got 64 banners. Very good. It's just before we start, I have brought in a Datacron. So it's a level 3 data crime with extra health, steel and tenacity with uh, stacking offense. Obviously going to be really helpful with it for this undersize, so we are going to open up with an efflux. It's going to get countered to death, but that's fine. And we'll stun those that can be stunned. Give Master Training to Jedi Knight Luke. Let's give that to... Uh, Jedi Master Luke, let's call in and kill Chewie. How dare you? Oh, that's right, C3PO. Right, let's daze um, GPO. Stop him assisting. Ooh. Okay, so unfortunately, we did lose the last one because uh, Blue Stacks just decided to stop working for some reason. Just completely froze on me, and then I had to back out, and then came back in. Another team that I'd killed has uh, actually done anything. So we're not going to start again, but GG should be okay against this, I'm hoping. Alright, let's hit the target locks. Keep hitting the target locks. That. A big hit, please. Gonna be awful banners, but what the hell? The target lock. Kill Chewbacca, please. Hmm. 
to Han. This one is dead. I don't care about banners. We don't need to worry about banners. It's fine. Just need to get through it. Obviously, you know, ideally want to take Newt with us, but Newt's on defense, so we just can do that. Gonna lose, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> okay, so Bad Batch versus Qui Gon Jin. Go for a stun on Ayla. Pass turn back over to Echo. We're going to do call in Hunter onto Anakin. That should kill Qui Gon, hopefully. It does. Then we'll kill the others. Swipey swipe. And then basic to finish Grievous. Uh, not Grievous. <laughs> Kenobi for 65. Alright, so let's hook out with just a random team <laughs> I just put together, because why the hell not? <laughs> Against uh, this JTR. Bye bye, IG. Let me take a turn. Thank you. Stun. Oh, of course not. Like 200 turns. Oh, dodged. <laughs> right. It's basic, I guess. It's done at Ray. Oh, they're just running circles around me. Basic again, we've got the foresight. Let's kill off Rose. Bye bye. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> okay, there you go, that'll do. Go on, Embo. Throw your hand at R2. Oh, look at that. Swipey swipe, and everyone's dead. Alright, Troopers v Finn. Uh, let's kill off Poe first, I guess. Do AWE. I'm sure don't vet Chewbacca. Kill Finn. And kill Poe. Or Max Banners. Okay, we're gonna try Wampa versus this GG Newt team. I do slam and then we'll get rid of the extortion afterwards. idea how it's going to go, but we shall see. Your raw. Your B2. Extortion back on us. Your raw again. Ooh. Right, now we do a slam here. And we'll get rid of it. Extortion after on us afterwards. Get rid of it. Oh, of course. Do a roar. Get rid of it again. 
We're gonna get it reapplied right now. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's do a raw and then we'll try to slam. Then we'll get rid of it afterwards. And then probably get it reapplied again, but you know. Got my newt at least once. The slam. Get rid of it. Do raw. For the sixty eight. Oh, no, sixty seven, obviously, because he didn't have full health. Uh, that's still really good. It seems uh, blue stacks is going to be the cause of uh, us not getting a one shot on the ground zones by the looks of things. It shouldn't really too matter this fight for the overall result. Uh, so I'm just sending in JKR to clean this up. That's a JKR. Then we'll do this. I'll spread the buffs. Try and recover some banners that I can. Uh, let's give that to Shakti. And we'll call Heal up Revan. That should be a jump to kill. Yep. <laughs> now kill him. There we go. Four of rubbish banners. Yeah, 31. Okay, so as you can see, we have cleared the full board. Um, I'm not going to be including ships on these uh, videos on my Jamex account going forward. I just feel like two lots of ships are just too much. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to do like a quick fire like ground zone, ground arena obviously on my Jamex account and then uh, I'll show you fleets on my solo accounts, uh, ground arenas going forward. But unfortunately we did lose those battles against CLS um, which was very unfortunate because obviously blue stacks just obviously saw that we were using dead squads they were just like nah i'm not i'm not working sorry i can't i can't do dead squads either so that's probably the reason well, that's what i'm guessing anyway because <laughs> the other fights were fine <laughs> um but yeah obviously slightly frustrating but a good way to end the 5v5 season on the jamex on my jamex account at least anyway uh so we'll be hopefully going into uh, nearer the Kyber 1 mark and that will give us a good bracket to hopefully push us into Kyber 1 uh, in the first week of uh, 3v3. So as always, if you have enjoyed the video, I would, would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe and I shall catch you in the next one.